All right, so picture this. You were driving down a narrow road in the middle of the night when all of a sudden your headlights unexpectedly slam into a deer. It's a bad feeling. According to a study released by State Farm Insurance, deer collisions are on the rise in Wisconsin. News 3 this morning reporter Eden Chuckle joins us live this morning from one of the State Farm offices. Good morning, Eden. Good morning, Adam and Charlotte. That's right. According to this new study released by State Farm, deer collisions in Wisconsin are expected to increase by about 10% this year. And here to tell us more is State Farm agent Sarah Drew. Thanks for being here today. Thanks, Eden. Good morning. How are Good you morning. today? I'm doing great. All right. So tell us about this study. What did you guys find? So we found um, this year in 2015, it's a, an annual study that we do regarding deer claims and different states. So the odds um, for hitting a deer and what, where the state ranks. So the number one state for deer collisions is actually West Virginia, where you have a one in 44 chance of having a deer collision claim. Topped out by Hawaii, which is the least state, <laughs> which is about one in 8,600. No surprise there, right? right? Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of deer in Hawaii. <laughs> and where does Wisconsin rank? So there are five states um, in the top, Montana, Pennsylvania, um, and South Dakota and Iowa. And then Wisconsin came in sixth this year. Last mm -hmm. year we were number seven. So it's about a one in 77% chance of having a deer collision claim this year, which is about up 10% from last year. And before, you know, this morning I ran and was talking to Adam and he was saying he's always been told that if you come across deer and you're driving, you shouldn't swerve. Is there any truth to that? That has always been said to me too, and until I became a state farm agent, I realized how important that is. You should try to slow down cautiously, and um, unfortunately, if you try to swerve, you could go into oncoming traffic, you can go into a ditch, you can cause even a worse claim, a collision claim. Um, so unfortunately, the age-old truth of just hit the poor deer is mm -hmm. probably what you should do. Probably true. And tell us, I know earlier we were talking about the deductibles. It's better for you, I guess, to hit the deer than to swerve. Yeah, a collision claim can result in, you know, worse bodily injury. Um, most people have higher deductibles on their collision coverage. The average deer claim this year is thought to be about 4,100 in comparison with 3,700 last year, which is about a 6% increase. So for those of you that just have liability coverage, that's about $4,100 out of your pocket. All right. Any other tips real quick? We have about 30 seconds. So what other t uh, tips do you have for people? Don't for rely on your deer whistle. Um, proceed with caution in the fall. Um, always wear your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. If you see a deer, of course, slow down and always look for other deer because they do travel in herds. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. We no appreciate problem. your time. So, Adam, it looks like you were right. Do not swerve. Mm -hmm. You will have to hit um, Bambi. Mm. It's 5.49 in the morning on a Wednesday, October 14th. We should mark yeah. this down. I'm actually right about something. It's rare. <laughs> it is so rare. This is your day, this isn't is it? This is my so moment. proud apparently. of you. We're out of that Mercury retroactive thing. Retrograde. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks, Eden. Appreciate it. Chekel is live at the State Farm office in Verona with tips on dodging deer. Hi, Eden. Good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Yeah, according to this new study released by State Farm, deer collisions are expected to increase by about 10% this year. And here to tell us more is State Farm agent Sarah Drew. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Okay, so I'm driving down the road. I spot a deer. What should I do? You should definitely proceed with caution. Avoid swerving to hit the animal. And always remember that deer run in packs. So there could be other deer coming. Be aware of your surroundings and... Just be careful. Mm -hmm. And something that, you know, we always hear is do, don't swerve. Don't swerve. Why? If you swerve, you run the chance of getting into a collision with another vehicle. You could go into oncoming traffic. You could go into a ditch. You could cause a lot more damage hitting another vehicle than, unfortunately, hitting the animal. Right. And let's get into some of the stats. Where does Wisconsin rank? So Wisconsin this year ranks number six. Last year we were number seven, so we're up 10% from last year. The other states in the top five are West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Montana, South Dakota, and Iowa. Okay, and then it's least likely to happen in Hawaii, right, is what yes. you're saying. And I think according to the study nationally, it's like the national average is one in 69, but in Wisconsin it's one in 77. So our chances of running into deer are more common here. More common here. Um, any other tips that you have for people? I always use caution in the fall months. The most dangerous times are dust till dawn, wear your seatbelt, don't rely on deer whistles. Unfortunately, they don't usually work. And if you see a deer, again, don't swerve to avoid it. 
just try to slow down as cautiously as possible. And earlier you were saying that if you do happen to um, come across deer and you don't swerve, it would be better for um, it would be for your insurance. Right? It would be better for it, your insurance? They say a comprehensive claim is usually better than a collision claim. Again, I'm not an actuarial. But. All right. Well, thank you, Sarah. Appreciate your time. No problem. Have a great day. All right, Adam and Charlotte, back to you guys. All right, Eden Checo reporting live for us from the State Farm Insurance Office in Verona. Thank you very much. Welcome back. It is 645 right now. Good morning, Madison. Look at that beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. All right, so picture this. You are driving on a narrow road in the middle of the night when all of a sudden your headlights unexpectedly slam right into a deer. Better your headlights than your car, right? Mm -hmm. According to a study, though, released by State Farm Insurance, deer collisions, unfortunately, are on the rise here in Wisconsin. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Checkle joins us live this morning with more on that. Good morning. Good morning, Adam and Charlotte. Actually, deer collisions, according to this new study, are very common in Wisconsin. Wisconsin is actually one of the top 10 states where this happens. So not such great news for us drivers, but here to tell us more on what we should do if we do encounter deer on the road is Sarah Drew from uh, State Farm. Good morning. Good morning, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay, so tell us about this study. What did you guys find? So we do this study annually. This is the ninth year in a row. Um, this year we found that West Virginia again for the ninth year in a row, <laughs> is the number one state where a deer vehicle collision is most likely to occur. They have about a one in 44 odd of having a deer collision. The state of Hawaii being at the bottom of the list where it's about a one in 8,600 chance of having a deer collision. Montana, Pennsylvania, and South Dakota and Iowa are also in the top five. Okay, and where does Wisconsin rank? We creeped up to number six this year. Mm. Last seventh, year, right? Yep, last year we were number seven. So this year we have a 10% higher chance of colliding with a deer in the state of Wisconsin. And you were giving us tips earlier. Can you please repeat those tips again? What should we do if we come across If deer? you see a deer, be aware that there are likely to be other deer roaming with it. If you um, see the deer, slow down if you can. Try to avoid swerving into oncoming traffic, which may cause an even worse accident. Wear your seatbelt, don't rely on deer whistle, proceed with caution. The fall is the busiest time for deer, and dust till dawn, also a risky time. And what are the most common months again? Starting November October? being the highest okay. um, month where deer collisions happen, October through December the most, most likely. And talk about the, dedu the deductibles again. Okay, so um, the average cost per claim this year is about 4,100, up 6% from last year, which was about 3,800. So if you hit a deer, that usually falls under your comprehensive deductible, which most people usually have a lower deductible there, versus if you collide with an oncoming vehicle, now we're talking about a collision claim. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sarah. We appreciate thank your you. time. Again, really the takeaway is if you come across a deer and you're driving, it's, I guess, safer to hit the deer than to swerve. Um, so just be careful of that because, again, this time of the year is when deer collisions are most common. Uh, $4,100 per claim. All right. Thanks, yeah. Eden. That's not fun mm -hmm. by any means. Anyone who's ever hit a deer. Appreciate your work this morning.